Hello everybody, this is Bud and I was just uh, trying to see if I had already made a video about this like a long time ago But I don't think I have uh, But I might have I, I cannot find it. It's impossible to, to figure out what my videos <laughs> were about by by looking at the video titles, whatever um, Look at this. I have Hackerman uh, color scheme here. Very cool in my monitors. Isn't that cool? Look at this I have a blue terminal here. What, what's going on? What, uh, look at this H top. It looks like this. I got this color theme here, and then I can open TPIST. This is also a terminal application. All of these are your XVT windows here. Different terminals, different color schemes, different fonts. What, what's going on? Why? Why, why are you? What, what? What is this about? You know? Um, and maybe, oh, maybe this isn't so good. Maybe I just want a simple grayscale uh, color scheme here, and then I can just change it with that menu it's a rofi menu by the way which i can bring up for any any terminal and change uh, even like floating it doesn't matter if it's floating who cares you know i can change it to gear box maybe well hello no problem um that is what i want to show you here how how does that <laughs> what's going on why am i doing this uh, is this useful is it maybe it's not useful but it's uh, kind of cool isn't it so Let's start with that uh, uh, um, menu menu program here. I can fire it up from this terminal here. Terminal theme menu, and that is the same. As, uh, this is the script that I have open in Sublime here. So if I fire this command, it brings up the menu, uh, and I can select the theme here, and it changes to that theme in that terminal. Uh, so let's let's uh, walk through the script because that th this will unlock the rest of the video I know it, it it starts weird and it will get even weirder maybe but I think this can be an interesting <laughs> Fun video. I hope so. I think I also will do this. I will change the font size here in uh, this monitor So it's easier to see because it's the a lot of the stuff we will do um is related to to uh, like the window title, which is always the first uh, row here in this uh, info window. So if I change to this uh, sublime window, we can see this is the window title, and this is the first line. It's just too long. Um, instance name is this class name, sublime text. Firm is title format. We get back to that, and then some other interesting stuff here. Um, I also print the, the last key binding I pressed here. Uh, so super D uh, brought up that terminal theme menu. And then I press super S, which is uh, focusing sublime, whatever. Uh, let's analyze this uh, script now. We first put the output of i3get, and i3get is part of i3as. Uh, so you, if you install i3as, you will get i3get. Get it? Uh, this command i3get-r, r means return, and then you enter the, the different properties you want to return. So here I want to return c and t, and that is uh, class and title. So we can see here, it matches this. This is the title, slash dev, slash pts, slash four, and the class is urxvt. Uh, I store that, um, output in a variable and then I uh, use read uh, to uh, put the content or yeah you see I use read uh, which will read that uh, variable and I replace new line with space I need to do that for, for read to work here because what read also does is uh, I specify the name of variables here uh, because you can do this, you can specify any number of variables if you want to. If you know that you will read three different words, you can just specify three variables and then it will put those words into those variables. So here I get the uh, class and title variables here from, from this, whatever. It, I think it, it gets more complicated the more I talk about this. It's very simple and, and quite a neat thing to do, uh, so you don't have to declare the variables first and then blah 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 blah. I think this I should use this method more. Uh, whatever. Then we have a test here uh, that tests if uh, class is URXVT and that title matches this regular expression here. 
uh, which is a very strict one. So it have to the title have to be slash dev slash pts slash uh, a number uh, and nothing else. And it matches this, right? But it wouldn't match uh, Sublime here. So if I fire up the, the key binding here when Sublime is active, I will get an error here. That is what this notify send you critical. That means that it will be one of these red uh, warning dunced uh, messages here. Uh, and it's it say the terminal theme menu only works for terminals, not, and then it prints the, the title of, of the window I try to do it in, which is a sublime text two window here. So it only works in terminals. Um, then variable palettes deed, uh, which have a strange uh, path here, but it's a path to, um, and we can open it in, in um, in, let's hope this works now because I have found that it sometimes doesn't work. Well, whatever. Yeah, I have it there. TMP Dylan's. Um, yeah, no, it didn't work. Forget this. Yeah, whatever. I just uh, tried to configure uh, a PC Man FM. Uh, it's a little bit trickier to get PC Man FM working than um, uh, dil dil there it is. So escaped palettes. It's this directory. And uh, it have a bunch of escaped palettes. What is an escaped palette? Yeah, here is one. Um, if we just take one of these, um, yeah, let's uh, change the color scheme here to five Peter dark there, for, for instance. And five Peter dark, uh, the escaped palette. It looks like this. Uh, it's a um, file that only contains escape codes. And if you would print these escape codes. Uh, in a terminal, it would uh, execute those escape codes. So you can use escape codes for different things. For example, changing the colors in the terminal, but you can also change the cursor. I use an escape code to change my cursor into, into this beam uh, cursor. And there is also an escape code to change uh, the, the title of the terminal. We get back to that, of course. Um, but if we have five Peter dark here, and as I said, uh, if you cat one of these escape codes, or if you print uh, the content of these uh, escape uh, code files here, it will execute them in the, in the terminal. So here, uh, Brewer Dark, uh, if I copy the path to that, and then I cut it in this terminal, you see it changes to that color scheme. Um, and that is exactly what we do here, because now after I, I uh, have a list, because this puts all, all the files in this directory inside an array using a, a glob here. This is a very good method of uh, doing that. Yeah, getting an array of files. Um, I um, put the content or I print those palettes. I print those, um, that list. Um, or that array. <laughs> Let, let's do it in the terminal. Same, same uh, variable there, and then we create this array like this. And if we would do this print f here in the terminal, it should just print a list of all those files. Um, but you can see that I also use this uh, this stuff here, which you normally use for um, to 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 um, modify a variable. So this means remove everything from the beginning up until the last uh, slash. Uh, but you can use that on arrays as well uh, in bash. Uh, this is kind of advanced uh, bash uh, stuff going on here, but whatever. So this will do that on each uh, uh, array element here. If I remove that, it prints the full path uh, to each file instead. Uh, but I want to not include uh, the path. I just want to print the name and then I pipe that into uh, i3 menu. I just do this. You see, I get a D menu like menu here. I can select something and there it prints uh, whatever I selected here to standard out. Uh, but I give uh, i3 menu some, some additional options here to, to get a nicer menu because i3 menu can do that. Uh, layout, for instance will give you a different layout. So layout window, then you will get a menu that spans the whole window. 
Currently there is an issue here. Uh, it should span only that active window. I don't know why it spans the whole screen with here. I have to look into that. Um, because I just modified uh, this window thing a bit so you can specify the width. I'm sure I, I missed something there. Because you could... Yeah, th it's getting a bit weird here, but whatever. If I do this, you see, it spans the whole... It, it takes the window uh, coordinates, so the same X and Y position the same width and the same height, but then width here, it overrides that. So now uh, it still have the same x, y and height, but a different width. And you can furthermore uh, change the height as well as we do there. Now you see this. And if I also want to modify the x and y position, you can either uh, say um, uh, x pos, I believe, if we do this and say 100. 49 then it, it puts it on x position 149 but here you see I use x offset um, and x offset it, we will see no difference here uh, x uh, offset will um, put it 149 uh, uh, um, pixels offset it to uh, the current layout's position, so to speak. And now, same thing, because uh, the current x is zero for this one. But it would be different if we had a terminal here, for instance, and, and did the same thing. Well, now it doesn't work because we don't have the list there, so whatever. Yeah, what whatever. This makes it work in... in uh, so, 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 yeah, we get an off... We get a X offset relative to the current window. That is why I use layout window here since I modify all, all the keys anyways Whatever, but you could also do this with normal Rofi or even D menu. It doesn't matter uh, Actually here this script The only thing is that you don't get that nice uh, menu It kind of looks like it belongs to the terminal, but it really doesn't in a way whatever uh, Store the the um, the answer that we get here. So, for example, well, that wasn't this selecting something five Peter dark. If I if, if this would be the case, then it would store five Peter dark in choice here. Then you can do a test for just test choice, and this means did we get a, di, did we select something? Because you can also press escape like this, and that would mean that choice is empty. Uh, but if it's not empty. Uh, we re-prefix uh, choice with uh, the full path, which we have here, you know, palace deal. We add that again to the beginning of choice, meaning we will now have a full path to one of these palettes. Uh, and then I test if that file exists, like the full path here exists. That might sound uh, like uh, redundant, since shouldn't we always have the full, the correct path here? But the thing is, we could actually enter uh, our own stuff here, or something like that. And that would be a file that doesn't exist. If it prefix uh, the palette steer to, to this choice, that wouldn't work. So I also test that. Uh, but if it is a file existing in palette steer, then I cat the content of that file, uh, redirect that cat to title, and title uh, to recap is uh, dev pts4 um, and here you can see uh, this title is dev pts6 here it actually prints that title as the title format um, and what that means is that we could um, copy path cat uh, 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 that redirect uh, redirect to dev pts6 which is yeah this one you see and if i do that it didn't work what why does this not working now it was working before it uh, this has not been not working Get it here. Yeah, that works. 
Maybe it did work. Maybe this maybe the, the maybe this theme was so similar to my current theme because it looks very similar here. Yeah, that is probably the thing. Okay, take something else. Take a dark one. Copy path. Uh, cat. Interesting. Okay, uh, Atelier Forest is extremely similar to my default theme here. Probably. Dev PTS6. There, you see. You can just uh, redirect this to the path to the title. Or, or the, the terminal. This, what is this really? I am not 100% sure, but uh, you can, there is a command called tty. If you execute that in a terminal, it will print the address to that terminal, or it will print this stuff. <clears throat> if we open the man page for this command, tty, it will tell us that tty print the file name of the terminal connected to standard input. So. That, that is what you need. You need the file name of the terminal connected to standard input. Exactly what this means, <laughs> I'm not really sure. Does it really matter since it's working? But, as you can see, we can only get the, the TTY, you can only execute that in your own terminal. So it's, uh, uh, um, yeah. All right, so that is important. We need to uh, have a way to change the title of the terminals into uh, this stuff. And we also need to, to get a bunch of these uh, uh, escaped palettes for this to work. That is, that is like the, the secret uh, source here to our um, cool rice. Um, Let's start with this, how to get these escaped uh, uh, palettes here. I get them from internet. Uh, let's open GitHub. Uh, yeah, I have it here. Dylan Arabs Paleta. So Dylan Arabs uh, is the guy who, who created Pywall, um, Kiss Linux, SO Window Manager. Uh, pfetch I believe uh, he, has, he has done a lot of things <laughs> a lot of things one of the most active uh, uh, members of uh, the whole github actually and he shares everything and he creates a lot of cool stuff especially for for people who are into rising he, he's like a Whatever, Dylan is great. Uh, one program that not so many people know about, it only have 147 stars, uh, which is very uh, uh, small number. If you look at Dylan's other repositories here, you have like 27 stars or 27,000 stars and 12,000 stars on NeoFetch. Yeah, NeoFetch, he did that also and PFetch and yeah. Done a lot of things, uh, very active, uh, uh, um, and creative person. Paleta here, uh, it's a bit different um, than, for example, Pywall, because Paleta, it lets you uh, change the colors on of all terminals, uh, and it's independent of terminal emulator. I get that is uh, in, uh, good to know here. So this works should work in any terminal emulator, basically. You have a list here. Let's do this there, now we can see. You have a list of supported terminals. Alacrity works fine. Kitty works fine. VTE and VTE includes Termite, XFCE terminal, GNOME terminal, console, and many more. So you see, this kind of worked with all of those. Uh, Xterm, uh, fine, it works fine. URXVT, good. ST needs a patch. But the patch is included in this repository. So in MISC here, you can find that ST patch that you need for this to work. Uh, hyper clueless, no, no one cares. So it works in all terminals, um, independent of them, and it's extremely fast uh, at doing what it does. Um, and what it does is changing the color scheme in all open terminals. Um, and you change it by um, giving the paleta command. The paleta command uh, you, on standard in to Paleta, you give it uh, a palette. And a palette is a file that looks something like this. In the, this repository, there are a bunch of, of pre-built palettes. And as you can see, it's the exact same content as I have here, because yeah, it's related. Uh, 
5 Peter Dark here, for example, that palette looks like this. Uh, 19 colors, because these are actually uh, color definitions here, hexadecimal uh, numbers. So red, green, blue. And that in turn turns into a beautiful color of so some kind. Uh, usually when you see these, it's often prefixed with a sharp, but you shouldn't use that in with paleta here. But, and um, the, um, here uh, he explains the, the format, it's extremely simple. So the first value is the foreground, the second value is the background, the third value is the cursor. And after that, it's just color zero up until 256. So you can create 256 uh, 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 different colors in one scheme uh, or palette file here. Um, and it's, of course, very easy to create your own uh, palette. But you could also uh, clone this repository. And if you do, then you will get uh, all of these. Because if you install this from uh, AUR, where, where it is available, I actually think this should be part of, of the, because this is a very uh, stable, uh, good software, so... Uh, but you can install it from AUR with paleta-git. You can also just clone this repository if you're not, if you cannot find this on your distributions, package manager or whatever. Just clone this repository and run make and it will create the paleta executable. Because uh, paleta itself, it's a C program and it's a very small one. I think it's 140 lines. Uh, 150 lines of, of C, it compiles in one second. <laughs> so it's, it's a very simple program. Uh, yeah, and I think you can also do make install. So it will automatically install it. You just uh, change the, the prefix here, uh, depending on your distribution, whatever. Um, but I do recommend that, that you clone this uh, repository, which I have done here uh, in this Dylan's directory here. I just call it that. Um, and here we can see Paleta that uh, contains uh, the same uh, uh, content as, as uh, the repository because it is the repository. I clone this. Uh, it also includes the executable because I tried to make this uh, make it here. So just to see that that worked. But what I really wanted, since I have it installed from AUR already, was the palettes, which is not included with the AUR package. Um, I wanted this directory with all the pa palettes. We open one of these, you know, looks like this. This doesn't work. If I would just cut out this file, of course, uh, it would just uh, print the content of the file like any normal file because these are not escaped uh, uh, like these are. Uh, but just to show you how Paleta works here, uh, we can, yeah, let's just find something, uh, I don't know, Blazer Dark, Copy Path. And then you do paleta input uh, a palette. And uh, just to see that it works, we can open a bunch of terminals here. So now we have uh, four visible terminal windows executing this chunk. You see, it updates all open terminals. And, and that includes, yeah, all, all open terminals now have the same uh, uh, palette. It's kind of cool. But uh, what I did there in the beginning with the menu and stuff, you know, we, we just update one uh, terminal. Uh, and that is done by cutting those escaped, uh, um, escaped palettes. And I get these escaped palettes from Paleta. Because it uh, actually explains how, how to do that in, in the first uh, line here. Uh, Paleta input one of the palettes, and one of the palettes are those normal palettes. But then if you also output uh, uh, um, Paleta, because the output of Paleta are those escape codes. That's why we don't see any output here, because it outputs those escape codes. But if you redirect the output into a file, then you will save those escape codes. So that's how you create those uh, escaped palettes. Uh, now I have already done that, but since it's so funny to create these escape palettes, let's do it again. So let's delete this, or we can actually delete all of, all of them here. There. Uh, and then let's copy the path to this directory. So we can call it ep is equal to this. 
so we get the path to this escaped pallet sky here. And then we can uh, say uh, normal pallets is equal to pallets, because that is this guy here with all the normal pallets. Uh, so if we want to uh, populate our escaped pallets directory here, uh, we, we do this. We first can cd into normal pallets. That makes it easier. You don't have to do that, but there. And now um, my cd also does an ls, but whatever. If we loop the content of this uh, directory for f in star do, and then we could echo f just to see that things are working. Done. There. It just print. It, it does that. It loops the content of the current directory and prints uh, uh, the name of, of the file. Good. Um, if we do this instead, paleta input file output. Um, did we do now? Escaped palettes uh, slash file. Open this. Do this also. Let's see if this works. I will also pick up my. Uh, jaw harp here and okay pretty fast pretty fast to do that because as you as you <laughs> As you could see there, it, it uh, now went through this whole list. I don't know how many there are. Uh, is it just... No, yeah. Uh, 168 palettes. Uh, and it applied each of those palettes with paletta, changing the color, color scheme in each uh, terminal, open terminal. But it also uh, uh, made these escaped variants of them. And you, you saw it, it's pretty fast to do that, and I also had HTOP open. The CPU meters didn't go through the roof when you did this either. It's like, it's such a nice uh, program, this. Um, and now we have the escape palettes. First part of um, my uh, terminal theme menu accomplished, uh, because this is what we need, um, or what we want. There is, of course, you can do the, maybe find escaped palettes in some other way or whatever, but this is one way to get a bunch of escaped palettes. Um, this is something that isn't explained really, that you should do something like this. That is not explained here in the readme, but you could do that. But you can, what Dylan um, tells you is that you could add, uh, let's see, Whatever here, here it is. Add this to your bash RC, and and do what he does here, and that means that you will get the same uh, palette whenever you start a terminal. It will apply the the last uh, set palette and stuff like that. But that's not something that I'm interested in here. I want to do this instead, so I do, did did that. Whatever. Um, now we need to to do this. You know, get the TTY as the title for all open terminals. Uh, and to do that, we need to have a wrapper script around uh, um, our terminals. I3 term here is my wrapper script. And here we can also see, now when I did that, it opened a terminal with my normal default boring uh, color scheme. Uh, because uh, this uh, fires up... Um, yeah, let's see if we can... I have it here. I have it here. I3 term. Here it is. Um, I3 term executes URXVT. And URXVT reads the colors to use. It reads them from uh, uh, X resources. Uh, and that's why it doesn't know about this paleta stuff here. <clears throat> um, and this is uh, my I3 term script here. Uh, 70 lines, so it's... <laughs> 
quite a lot of stuff that uh, that I do here for just opening a terminal because basically this just uh, do urxvtc but with some additional stuff here so for example here we set the the title of, of uh, that terminal and I set the title to the output of tty uh, so we can try that here If I execute this in this terminal, nothing will happen. Also do this there. You can see this uh, title is dev pts8, you know. But if we change this uh, thing here to... Oh, hello. You see, now the title is too hello. We still... Or, and here also, because these terminals i never changed the title format so here the title format will also be the title if i wanted uh, that to not be the case i could do i3 message title format always this and now it will always be this even if i would change the title here uh, to uh, tty for example pay attention here to what the actual window title is now we have updated the title but the title format will not change when we have it set uh, with i3 message title format thing if you for some reason would want to, to revert to display the title i think you, you you do this percentage title and now it will display the title again but it will also have a win, whatever, whatever, we don't have to, there, you see it works now. Um, so this, this command here, that uh, changes the window title, and that also uh, prints an escape code, and I use echo uh, with the E option to uh, expand uh, the escape characters. Uh, and the stuff here is what will be set as the title. Um, and I want this to happen whenever I start a new terminal. So urxvt. Uh, if I want to execute a command when I start a, a terminal, I could do e and then I could say tpisk here, for example. Let's start a new terminal with uh, tpisk as the command. In, Otherwise, if you don't do this, it will start uh, the terminal with your default shell, which is, in my case, is uh, bash. Also, pay attention now, when I close this typist, I press Ctrl C, it will also kill that terminal, because that's the only uh, process running in that terminal. So if I kill the process, I kill the terminal. Um, but now I want to uh, echo this, or <laughs> execute this command in that terminal. Um, that becomes a little bit more uh, complicated. If we just paste it here, like this. And here, you see, I put it in a string here, the echo inside a string with and double quotes inside this thing. It, it, it is weird, it is, I, I, it really is, but it works. So uh, we can say, Say. Uh, yeah, now this should be the title of that terminal, right? If I execute this, something happened, but it didn't really work. It just uh, now, now it just uh, executed urxvt with this as the command. And just as I explained there, as soon as that command uh, uh, terminates, it also terminates the terminal. And this command terminates immediately, you know. But it still did that. It still opened a terminal and stuff. I think it might. Maybe not. It probably doesn't work if we do this either. Uh, if we add tpist here after this command. No, that also doesn't work. For this to work, because this is kind of what I want to do here. Uh, we actually do this. We execute bash. Or you could also do this. Uh, you could execute shell here. If you have a different shell than bash or if you know uh, that you are using fish, you could also write fish, whatever. But this should work. Uh, but we execute bash, and then to bash, we pass this as the command to execute. And I think this will work now. There. 
it opened a terminal, it changed the title to we can say, which is what we uh, defined here, and after that it executed this command. And if I uh, close tpist here, it will also clo close uh, the terminal. Uh, if we don't want to open a terminal with tpist as a command here, for example, we just want, uh, yeah, we just want to open a terminal with bash, uh, then you might think that you could do this, but that doesn't work either. Now it, it, it's basically the same thing as, as doing uh, this, just executing the command here. Uh, so to achieve that, you have to do something like this. Um, or you execute bash after you have executed this, basically. It's, it's weird, but it works. You see, now we get a normal terminal with a custom title. Uh, I will not talk about it at all, but you can see it on the screen here. This is a different escape code, and this is what changes the cursor. Because as you can see in tpisk, for example, there, I have this cursor here, which is a normal terminal cursor. Uh, but if I execute it with this, I have the beam cursor, which I like a lot more. Uh, and that is achieved by passing this command. And you could just append that to this string. But let's not get into that. And that also, my friends, doesn't work with all terminal emulators. It works on URXVT, but I think it doesn't work on, on some, some of the others. I don't remember which uh, didn't like it, whatever. Um, okay. Um, if we now change this to TTY here instead. See, now we have that uh, exactly what we want there. The, the title of the terminal is uh, dev PTS9. And <laughs> this might be hard to wrap your head around uh, because there are the quotes and the, the commands and all of that stuff. It, it barely makes any sense here. Uh, and what I mean is that TTY here, as I showed you, when we execute that here, it expands to the, the uh, path to this title or this terminal that we have here. And that should be the case here as well, right? Because it should expand now to dev PTS 8 always, shouldn't it? But it doesn't. When I when I execute this, we see that we have dev PTS 9 here and not PTS 8. And that is because this is not expanded here. It never executes this TTY command in this terminal because it is inside single quotes here. And when you put something inside single quotes, that means everything between those single quotes are raw text. This is not a command anymore, it's just uh, this is a string of raw text. All of these are literal characters, even the echo and stuff like that. Uh, and even the double quotes loses their meaning. And you pass this as a single command here to bash to execute. <clears throat> and when bash execute this, then it sees this as, it basically sees this as a script and will execute the content of it. And that's how it works. And then, when bash does that, TTY will not have a PTS8, it will have the path to the new terminal that is being created. So that is how that magic works. I know it's, it's complicated, but it works. And you have to do that for all terminals now, uh, if you want this, uh, this thing to work, for example. Well, now, yeah, now we can see it doesn't work here. I tried to bring up the terminal theme menu, but it didn't work for this terminal because it didn't have the right uh, um, title. You have to have that sp uh, special title, you know. Let's uh, reset it. There, now it should work. There, boink, cool. Yeah, I'm the, I guess I guess we end the video here. Uh, I have shown you now how to do that. You have to set up a script. Uh, so instead of executing terminals the normal way, you create a wrapper script that uh, um, adds uh, this stuff before you execute it. I know, not the best tut tutorial here, but I kind of want it like this. Uh, and then let's let's make another video where I go through the rest of the stuff here in, in I3 term, because this is the last thing I added here, the, the, the ability... Or, now you can also pass, you can create a terminal here with I3 term. Uh, and then I can uh, pass palette, for instance, and say uh, 
I U dark, uh, and then um, yeah, let's do two pistol again for because why not? I cannot think of anything right now. And there it creates two pisc uh, with the palette I specified here, so so I can uh, fire up terminals with a specific uh, um, color scheme. So if I close this term small now, term small it it, it when I fire that key binding super shift return it uh, toggles term small here as you can see. But if I kill term small and fire the key binding again. It brings up term small with this uh, base 16 code, code school light theme, which I think I want to use for that terminal. Um, and that is the same thing I do for uh, these monitor terminals. We, I, I, I think we will get to this as well, how I create these monitor tabs and stuff like that, but not in this video. It gets too much in the same one. It's almost, uh, <laughs> we are really packed reach the limit for how much stupid uh, uh, rice shenanigans you can do in one one single video with this one. Uh, I will post uh, some some uh, uh, version of this i3 menu uh, and make it public. Maybe uh, I will add it to the show notes of this video. Maybe we, we do that uh, in the next video. I, I, I haven't decided yet. But just to be clear, Paleta here, that works for every terminal emulator. You can do that, changing all the terminals with any, on any terminal emu emulator. It doesn't have to be UXVT. Uh, and um, yeah, now I, we lost the history, right? Maybe. <clears throat> yeah, whatever. Uh, but that, what? You are there. This stuff here. Um, now it's a different command here, but whatever. Your XVT E. Uh, this actually works for almost all terminal emulators as well, but it might work slightly different how where you put the quotes specifically. Uh, on your XVT, you write it like this: dash E for execute the command. That is the same in all terminal emulators. Kitty dash E, and then the command you want to execute. Uh, Alacrity dash E. ST E. It's it's the same thing. Uh, and if you want to execute bash, you just write dash E bash. Um, but if you want to pass a command to bash, as we do here, you write your XVT dash E bash dash C, and then inside quotes as one single word uh, the command you want to pass to bash. This is slightly different uh, in other terminal emulators. Uh, if, I just want to briefly mention this here. Um, I don't know why I did that, but there you would write it like this instead. You put this thing, so E, and then you put the whole thing here inside uh, quotes. And I guess that would mean that we would have to change these or something like that. I I, I don't know. You have to you have to do it like this basically. You put. Uh, the whole command that you pass to your terminal inside quotes as one word pass to the E option. This is one argument. And I think this makes more sense than how URXVT does this, but whatever. Uh, and then in bash option C, and then you have to put that thing inside quotes as one uh, argument to C. I'm pretty sure, but I think also think this is only for VTE terminal. So XFCE terminal, for example, there you do it like this. But I actually think that Alacrity, Kitty, Xterm, URXVT, and ST they use the same same way of doing it, uh, like I have shown you in this video. There, let's end this now because I I feel this this rabbit hole is is really really deep and especially when you want to try to cover all terminals, that is why I have never really done videos about this because it's so many small slightly different ways of doing things depending on the terminal. But in the end, it doesn't really matter uh, in my opinion. Just figure out how to do the things you want to do with your terminal because you can do all the same things with them. Have a nice day, everybody. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye, bye, bye.